Hi everybody, it's Julie, and I'm here with our H and our U for Thankful and Blessed. This is for the November No Buy Junk Journal Challenge. We also have the Nothing But Junk part of the challenge, so you might be doing this either way. Um, if you're doing nothing but junk, then you are to be using nothing but junk to make your... Um, items along with uh, uh, your Dear Julie Julie Digital. Okay, so we are on H. This is hardback tags. Hardback tags. So I'm going to be using this piece from a paper pad. Okay, so it's the back from a paper pad. And we are going to use that. And we're going to be making tags. So I have from this Ideals magazine a page and it is this poinsettia page and then I decided to take out my Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist and I misted it and I did it ahead of time so that it would already be dry and I could use it. But do you see that beautiful mist? Oh my goodness. I'm excited to be using some of my stuff. So there is a glossy white side here and then your cardboard crafty side there. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and put this page down on there. So you had this beautiful fall towards winter scene on the back of a sunset. And I'm going to take the back of my Tombow glue and just cover all of this with the Tombow glue. You know, I do love my Tombow glue. It is my favorite because I can use it pretty much for everything that I, um, I do for paper crafting. You will see me pull out other adhesives. Um... But usually it's because I'm wanting something to dry faster. Um, or if I'm doing something on shiny paper and not going to be sewing it, which I may sew this. I, I might sew this. <laughs> I might go ahead and put down half and then... Okay, so for this challenge, we are taking the items from the word thankful and we're making those and we're using the items from the words or the words thankful and blessed. We're doing both. And then we're taking items from the thankful and blessed item list and making those things. So, um, Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll just put this down here in this corner. If I can line it up, that would be awesome. Okay, so we're putting this down. I love it. Okay, so that's going to give us our hard back for our hardback tags. So we'll go ahead and, and cut this. So we need to use items from our our list here so from our list uh, we have a ticket and I have for many years heard guest check be referred to as a guest ticket 
So I am going to go ahead and I need a paper. Okay, so we're just gonna add glue. And we'll go ahead and put this up here in this corner. And this will give us our back. And we will have used a, at least one of our items from the, I, the element list to make our embellishment. We'll go ahead and cut this. There's that, and I am going to go ahead and trim the bottom off as well. I need to find my other cutter, the one that has pieces that are um, bigger. So that gives me my hardback tag. And now I need to embellish it. I think I want it to actually look like a tag. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that edge off. And then bring it over this way. Okay, so. We had that. So we're going to come over here. like sides together on the inside there so okay so that gives us that gives us that now um for the top of this we have we can use this also um from our sticker book. Okay, so the sticker book I'm using. Um, let's see. The, those words might be kind of cool. Okay, so we have the word joy down here in green. Go ahead, put this on here. It is a sticker, so we can use, utilize the fact that it is a sticker. And I'm going to try and cut it around so we have that little bit of border all the way around it. And then I'm going to grab our crocodile and I'm going to use the small hole on this one. Okay. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to use the large hole and I'm going to put two, let's do it from this side, two holes in, okay, one, two, okay, oh, I used the small, I think it'll be okay. Then we have um, our piece of ribbon and I am going to go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna attach this here. Okay, put that in under one of the holes. Pull our ribbon through. Okay, so there's there's our ribbon. 
and we can either go ahead and do like we did in yesterday's video but I think today we're just going to go ahead and go with the the in and out okay so in and out and I'm going to go ahead and glue this is actually a sticker wonder if we can get the oh that's right <laughs> it is actually a sticker but I I put the put some glue on the back of that okay so it can kind of go off the edge and then I'm gonna put just a little bit of glue here just so that the ribbon doesn't come out but I have some cards over here that are a hundred years old that have the in and out ribbon and the in and out ribbon is still there. So, um, you know, don't have to worry about that. We did the, um, mini challenge in the challenge where we did the six ribbon ideas and I will put that video in the description box down below. It's a lot of fun, just some different ways to add ribbon to your projects. So I think what I want next is a gold doily. And I'm wondering if we go here. Yeah, we want to go here because we don't want to cover up the, um, the centers of those poinsettias. Go. Okay. Go ahead. And we go around. Okay. And this can go up and under. I'm going to lay this down. I love this because to me this looks really like old fashioned. Okay, and then it's like this can come over on this side too. So pick it up, pull it over. So you have dec decoration or embellishing on both sides. Okay. And then, let's see. And go to the this package and we have this holly and pine it's a little bright for this so let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and Make it a little darker. Just don't want it to be so stark white. And we'll go ahead and do the whole piece because I, you know, me, I will use it. <laughs> okay, so that is a, um, a piece from Michael's from this year's Christmas and it is this is also a sticker so let's figure out how I want to put it on here I think I want it to go like like that okay I want some red left for the other okay Come over here and 
cut it. Okay, and then we can take the sticker off. Seems easier to grab the sticker from one of the um, the pieces that were there before, rather than from the cut. Okay, then we're gonna put this on here. Okay. No, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, I'm thinking I wish I had outlined that with the, with the gold pen. I think I can do it if I'm real careful. Love this pen. I keep saying that, but I do, and it makes a difference. That little finishing touch. Okay, so there I added the pen and that is my first, my first one, my first hardback tag. So it is definitely, um, definitely has a, a hardback feel to it. I love it. Okay, and then I think for our other one, we're going to go ahead and use this piece because um, we also need small tags. So we go ahead and remember, like sides together. So cardboard backing on the outside of both. There we go. So for this one, for our ticket, I think we'll use a ticket. We can have it come in from the side like that. And so let's add glue to Here, add that on the front and it's um, and the back. Okay, front and the back. Then we'll come back over to our sticker sheet. And I like the little bird. We'll add that, but I think before we do that, we'll add some washi to the inside of our ticket. And then we'll add our bird. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and come out. And we'll go ahead and put that down and we'll put that back up. And so you, we get to utilize that as part of the edge. Okay, so we have our cute little bird. And then again, also from here, we go to our black words. Joy to the world. I think we'll do that. Okay, so 
we've added our little collage. Um, you probably know by now that I really do like to add the collages. Looking for the the whole reinforcers. Okay, and I think we'll go ahead and just make them not quite so white. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we used a ticket from the list of element items that we need to use. Now we'll go ahead and add some lace. That is also on the list of elements. You can use any kind of lace, paper lace. So the doily over here would also count as, um, as lace, the way that I wrote the, the rules, they both count, so, okay. So that will give us that. We're going to go ahead and add the fabric tack up here. And I've been doing that because it um, ha adds less bulk. You can also staple it. There's another thing I like to do to add less bulk. But this is this will give me my two hardback, hardback tags. Okay, and then we're going to move on. And we are going to make something using the um, hat pin, okay? Because I told you we would. <laughs> I told you we'd make something using the hat pin. So we are going to make something using the hat pin next, okay? But here's my two hardback tags. Um, I did them pretty simple. You, I mean, there's so many other things that you could do here. Um, you know what? I do want to, to add this stamp to the back. It is a stamp that I got a long time ago. And like at a yard sale or a state sale or something. And it's just different, but it gives you a place. It gives you some lines to write on. Okay. There we go. It says from date X ref. <laughs> That's what you get. Okay. So we are, there we go. And we have the light shimmer glit. Glimmer Mist on the poinsettia paper. We still have more of, um, whoop, I'm going to polish down. Okay, but I think that those turned out really pretty. Really, really pretty. Okay, so those are two large tags. So we're going to get to do two today. We are going to be working on the you for you choose and I choose charms. So let's see how I'm going to make this embellishment using the elements from thankful and blessed. Now let's move on and let's work with our hat pin and or it can be a safety pin or a straight pin and here we go okay so i do have some beads hanging around up here also oh i did shimmer mist one of these <laughs> i was i was spraying everything if you stood still you got sprayed okay we're gonna need some some of our jewelry tools okay so the little roundy ones <laughs> That's a piece of dryer sheet. Wire cutters. Uh, these, those are the big ones. They're oh, these are wire cutters too. 
They might be better. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I think that we can use those. Okay, to start off with, let's start off with, um, well, we have a straw, okay? So I pulled out a straw and we're going to carefully cut us off a piece of straw, okay? Um, then we are going to go ahead and come over here and we have our background piece and then we have some items that have been a shimmer, shimmer misted, glimmer misted, glimmer misted, shimmer misted. They are ready to be used. We've lost the cutter again. I have a blanket on my legs, but I am, I'm freezing. <laughs> I'm like really cold. So I have a blanket on my legs. Things get, keep getting lost. I don't know if they're getting lost in the blanket. Okay. We're going to go ahead and we'll cut that. We'll save that because we glimmer misted that. Okay. So what we're going to do next is I thought we'd try something. Okay, I'm putting the... Oh, that's why it... Because it falls over when it's next to the blanket. That's why it's not there. Okay. Um, I'm going to try the double-sided tape. And it's kind of wide. Okay. So... Double-sided tape going up against the edge of our book page here. Okay. So I guess this could be my you for thankful. My you choose and we'll make some beads and charms. I like to make beads and charms. Okay, so my straw is about that big. So if I cut it like almost like in half. This is just a little dip. Usually I do the glue and we glue the I haven't ever glued paper or anything to the straw before, but we're going to try that this time. Now, the thing about that is we'll have to use a pretty good size bead or something to keep this on my little, my little charm thing. Okay. So, um, I only need to make one of these for the journal that we're working on and then I can make one for something else. Okay, so if I take this and I put it on here, I think I'm gonna like that. Okay, let's try this here. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull off so I want to put this kind of in the middle. So I do still have that red from the straw. Okay. And you can come out, you know, a little ways or you can have it just right up. And that says sweet. That's sweet. It says hugged. Okay. So there's that. Okay. So we, <laughs> we lost video. So we're going to go ahead and I will do these, um, 
these things again. And some of them I'm just going to show you how they how they turned out after I show you how to to come about uh, making them. So we have added this green glitter washi or um, it's a green glitter tape to our bead. And I love how that turned out. So we are going to go ahead and add, um, we'll go ahead and we'll use one of these pens. And so we are going to go ahead and we need something that's big enough that is going to block the, um, the hole on there. And so there's that. Here's our straw. Yeah, I really wanted to use the longer, um, well, we will. So this is a corsage pin. I had already made, I had already done this. Um, so we're going to add the red bead here. I did cut the tip off with my little pliers. Everybody closed their eyes. And so there's that and that. And then I had a bead cap. And so I added that to the top just for fun. Okay. And then I'm going to get my round tool out. Okay. So my jewelry, whoa, <laughs> jewelry rounder. And we're going to go ahead and, oh, whoa, we're going to pull and turn. Okay. So pull and turn. Pull and turn all the way down to to the top. Okay. And then we want to make sure that okay. it's harder. It's harder the second time. <clears throat> Then I'm going to push the pieces together and usually I would go ahead and turn this and straighten it out. Um, I'm a little worried because we've already moved this all around, but there we've got our little bead dangle using a book page and a straw washi tape a random little bead and a bead cap all on a corsage pen. Okay. So, um, so this part, I'm going to be calling this my you for you choose, and I'm choosing to make charms. I do need to still use items from the element list. So we have a book page and we have a hat pen or a straight pen or a safety pen. Okay, so there's one. Then the other thing that is really fun to do is I, I have another piece here that is the same width as <clears throat> the, um, as the double-sided tape. And I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to fold this over. Okay, so folding that over to get it started. And then we can just go around this a couple times. And we have created a charm. Okay, so it's like a, a little extender piece here. Okay. Now what I did with my little charm is earlier is I took the other Santa that we had left from yesterday and I put it on double-sided tape and I added it onto one of these little charms. Okay, so just for another fun thing, this would count because I'm making a charm and I used book page. Okay, making a charm and I used book page. So I have that and I have this. This is actually going to be for a different project. Um... Then the next thing I um, want for my other project 
is I would like to have a little snowman charm. And so I can either have this come in at the side, or I think this time I'll come in from the bottom. And then I just need to pay attention and make sure I'm not coming out either the back or the front. If I do, then I'll back it up. See there, it came out the front. You, It's pretty forgiving. You just pull it back and try to tell it where you want it to go. So there we go. And it's gone in through the top. Okay, so I've got my little um, charm or pearl down here. And then we'll go ahead and I have my little wire cutters. Everybody close your eyes. Cut off the tip and do our little turning. Okay, and this one you can either turn it so it comes back around or you can turn it. Okay, we can turn it a little on the little bit bigger section and it can go right back into the um, eraser okay so there i have a little charm and um, i think that's really really fun so another thing i did with the with the base like that is i went up through the pearl up through the little jingle bell came around and did the little twirly um, there and so these two pieces could like hang together possibly. Um, these could all be part of a bead dangle. Um, so let's see. So let's go ahead and the other thing that you can do um, with a safety pin, you can go ahead and you can open it up. And if you've got something that's big enough, like that straw, piece would have been big enough to go on the back of of your um, safety pin. I think this one's just a little bit too small but um, you can if you can put a bead on your safety pin on the back of it that's that's really really cool. but you can always also go ahead and just put a little bead on the front of your safety pen and then just attach your safety pen onto your page onto your ticket just like that okay so it can get attached like that and then you could have a little jump ring and you could have your little um, charm hanging here or you could have like your little Santa from yesterday and it could be tied in the holes there I just didn't want you to forget especially if you're doing the nothing but junk um, part of this challenge that you could use a safety pen okay so a safety pen um, can be used Okay, so the one other thing that I think is really fun to do is to take one of these pens. I like to go ahead and add a little bit of glue to the top of the pearl pen. Okay, to the top of the pearl pen. Then go ahead and put that down. So Patreon, some of you from this summer, you might have some of the pins because I, um, that was my, one of my favorite things that I added in an ephemera kit earlier this summer for the, um, Emerald Patreons. So you might have like a little, um, piece of fabric. I'm just, I'm actually going to just go ahead and add that also. So this is the little dryer sheet that's been hanging around here. And we'll go ahead and go through here, come up and go through here. Okay. And then we can go ahead and grab, you could, you could add a snowflake here, or you could add another one of the little snowmen. Um, I get these erasers uh, pretty much for several years. They've had a variety of erasers in the Target dollar spot for the different holidays. Um, and then I just watch for them all the time. 
and buy them when I find them. Okay, so using it like a hat pin, you can use an eraser as your top stopper. Okay, so an eraser as your top stopper. How fun is that, that he looks like he's, um, he's fuzzy, like he's a snowman. It would be really cute to have a couple of beads or something on, on there, like as his tummy. But anyway, there you have a little hat pin, um, just to give you another idea of how to, how to do these. Um, so... Okay, so if you don't have bulb pins or access to them, then you might have a safety pin and you can go ahead and add your safety pin like that. Okay, so this was the you or you choose part of the challenge for me. Um, these will be for an upcoming pink Christmas um, project that I have um, that I'll be working on. And then this one is for the other one and I already made one of these so I've got I've got I've got that little pile okay so um so we have that and then we have this so let's go ahead and um I wonder if I have a silver I do I have white at Dollar General they actually have a pic a package of white and black um, safety pins as well. So if I take this white safety pen and I go ahead and attach it here and then um, I do I also have sequins. Sequins are fun. Sequins are fun. There's a little bell. Huh, my um, jump rings should be right here, right, right when I open the drawer, it should be jump rings. They have jumped, jumped ship. Here's, here's some, that's a different package of them. So, um, remember you can use, use your jump rings to attach things to things, including sequins. If you were a, a Patreon in July, you got a little package of sequins in with your, with your package. Okay, so that could just go on there. Of course, you can make your own with your punches and things like that. So just grabbing a little jump ring. We can attach this. Um, I'm gonna attach this to the top, okay? Because I think that the Santa is already probably pretty much as long as of anything as I need. Okay, there's that. And what do we have in silver? Is there a bell? Is there a, is there a silver bell? Silver bell? Yes, there is. It's a silver bell. Out with you, little silver bell. Okay, put everybody back in also a Christmas tree but I think the silver bell is kind of cool okay so you could do a whole little charm of these sequins with jump rings in between and Dollar Tree has had jump rings lately also just so you know okay then you're gonna to wanna to close that because the sequin is really small. Okay, so make sure that you 
well. Okay, so there we have our little Santa and our little bead dangly thing. Okay, all on one little dangly thing. Okay, so journal jewelry I, is one of my favorite things to do. Um, and so that was my you in thankful you choose okay so we used a safety pin we used a corsage pin we used a paper clip and we used a book page we used sequins and erasers and a variety of other fun things from my stash. So let's go ahead, clean off the desk. We'll be right back and take a look at what we made. And here we go. Remember we all, we started out with our hardback tags. So these have a backing from a paper pad. It's a lightweight paper pad, but it, um, they are definitely substantial tags. We have our large one here. Remember, we used that backing, and then we also backed it with the guest check. We went ahead and we had the sparkle paper from the Ideals magazine that we had um, sprayed with the Glimmer Mist. Then we did the collages. This one had the lace doily, so that was lace. This also had a guest check, which is ticket from the element items that we needed to use. We went ahead and cut holes up here, put our ribbon through. So in the in and out um, way and added this, we used a sticker and made a tag. I also used my gold pen from Dollar Tree and went around the outside of that. I love the way that turned out. Our gold doily here also goes over onto the back, adding interest and texture to the back. This was one of the die cuts from the Michaels Recollections little packages. I love, love, love how that turned out. It's simple, and I, but I think it's still really pretty. Then we used the small piece from the bottom here, and we made a small tag because I always need small tags. And I did stamp on the back of this one. And so this time we used a ticket. So that was our T for thankful was ticket. We used a ticket here and the sticker from the bird. We have a whole reinforcer. We also have lace, which is the L from thankful. And then we also added washi tape and the words right here. So those are our hardback tags. You needed to make two. And then, um, because I told you yesterday that we would have H hat pin, straight pin, safety pin, I went ahead and I made my um, U, which is you choose from thankful. And I made these charms. So, so here's our little Santa on the paper clip and we used book page on that charm okay and then a digital piece from a dear julie julie digital and that is actually from the five days of christmas it's the piece that we had left over from monday's or excuse me from tuesday's video then we um i made a little charm here and i did add a bell sequin down there again this is going to be for a separate project this one is for um, for this project. And so here I have my safety pin is through a ticket. Okay, safety pin and ticket. And it is um, holding, it's a charm holder. Okay, so, um, and then we have this charm here. So our we made a bead out of book page and a straw. 
here's our hat pin or corsage pin. Yeah, so that is our little piece for this um, this project. And then we also have this one, okay? So we have another book page piece. And when I get, um, when I find the right thing to add on to here, I can. But we have our book page charm, okay? So book page charm, book page bead charm, and um, we have the sequin down here, okay? And our safety pin here, it can be the top of this. And again, we can add more beads onto the safety pin right there if we wanted to, okay? So there's that one. Then I also made the um, snowman. So we use the pearl through the snowman. Um, so that was a straight pin. And here the straight pin went through sideways. Um, here's the, the one that I made in the video part that didn't turn out. And then we used one and made like a hat pin with an eraser, eraser closure. Okay, so these ones will be going with my actual project. And these will go with the project, the pink Christmas project I have coming up. Okay, so of all these, which is your favorite? And what are you going to go and do or try right away? Um, I would love to know. So again, this is the H hardback tags. And I made two of them. And this is my U, U choose, and I made charms. And I did use items from the thankful, blessed list of elements. Find something to celebrate every day. If you'd like to join us in the November challenge, the details videos in the description box down below. We'd love to have you. There are prizes. It's a lot of fun. And this month is pretty easy. Um, also, if you are interested in the five days of Christmas, uh, collab the video for the from the first day which was Tuesday November 2nd the video is right down below and so you can watch that find out more about that and um, yeah so have an amazing day everybody I'll see you tomorrow bye bye bye